What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something that does not require any makeup, that does not require any fashion, that does not require your hair to be bleached. Today we are going to be recreating different viral uh, foods and drinks, I guess, that I have seen on the internet. I decided that in order to start my day today, we will be making Dalgona coffee. Coffee makes me really nuts, so uh, I normally don't start my day off with a cup of coffee, but uh, that we would add a little twist to our milk. So we're basically gonna be making like a white Russian meets Dalgona coffee situation because it's afternoon. These are our ingredients of what we're gonna use today. Um, I have milk, this is skim milk. I have this cute little bee glass that so we're gonna put everything in. We have ice in the fridge that we're also gonna put in here. And I'm gonna put um, ice, our milk, our vodka, and then I decided because, you know, why not? Uh, we're also gonna add a splash of vanilla because I don't think we have creamer. And then we're going to add um, some cinnamon to our coffee. So I think that could be fun. Um, and then of course, the star of the show, we have this Cafe Puro Dark Roast um, Instant Coffee. It was the cheapest one. I just bought it because we need it. And then our sugar, I believe it's all equal parts. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of coffee. We're gonna do two tablespoons of sugar, maybe half a tablespoon of cinnamon, um, and then two tablespoons of water. And then that's what we're gonna mix for five minutes to try to get our coffee mixture. So anyways, let's get started. The first thing that we are going to be doing is we have our little bowl right here and we are going to start adding our coffee. So. Wow. Remember this has to be instant coffee, otherwise you're in a world of hate. All right, there's two tablespoons of coffee. We're going tablespoons, all right. And then, um, I guess let's do like a teaspoon of cinnamon, maybe not even, I don't know. Seems like a lot of cinnamon, whatever. Something like that, okay. <laughs> we have water in our glass, here are our dry ingredients, and we are going to um, do two tablespoons of water because I think that's what you're supposed to do. All right. So right away you can already see it's blending pretty well, it's changing, um, and I'm going to do this for five minutes. So there's our coffee, it looks really good, stiff peaks for sure, um, it's very thick. So. That's done. Let's go ahead and construct our drink. We have ice inside of our tumbler. We're going to add our milk. And I mean, you're supposed to have quite a bit, so I don't know. Some milk in there. We're gonna take our Deep Eddie's unflavored vodka. <laughs> We're gonna pour the entire shot in there. Okay, amazing. We're gonna do a dash of vanilla, like this much, small. Cause it's like vanilla extract. Extract? <laughs> extract. <laughs> Whoa, does she even have a degree? Okay. And then we're just gonna top this off with some milky. And boom. Now we're just gonna shake this up. Wow, it smells like street vodka, okay. Love that for me. And we're gonna get a big scoop of the coffee and we're just gonna place it on top. And another scoop. This looks like it's gonna overflow. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna have that much milk. Okay. I tried the whip itself and it was a lovely consistency, but really bitter. Like, really bitter, really strong tasting. So uh, not my favorite, but definitely coffee E. So I have my reusable straw here from Santa Cloud. I will link their website in my description down below. They are a really cool company. A lot of their proceeds from buying things off of their website go towards um, helping 
conserve marine life. Um, so they have a lot of really cool initiatives where they actually go out and clean up beaches. Um, they put money towards, you know, cleaning up pollution in the ocean. They put money towards conservation of wildlife in the ocean. So they're just a cool company overall. So I will link them down below. I have many, many of their reusable straws. I love them. I use them every day. That's a true story. So we're going to try uh, to drink this just out of it, but I don't think that's going to work. I think this is too thick and it's probably not going to let the milk out. Let's just try one, two. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to kind of shove a little bit in here with my, my drink and see how it tastes. The whip itself really isn't bad. The cinnamon was a good touch, I think. Oh my God, it's really good. So what I'm tasting mostly is a little bit of the vanilla, the milk for sure, and the vodka for sure. So let's try and mix in more of this coffee. Ooh, yeah. So that time I got like a little bit of the coffee, um, but it was like creamy and a lot of vodka. <laughs> so if I had to give this an out of 10 rating, I would give this maybe a six or seven out of 10. It's pretty good. Definitely could use more sugar. You could do something like Bailey's or Kahlua or something along the lines that goes better with coffee than vodka does. I was thinking about also tackling the Japanese souffle pancakes. So let's make up a pancake and see what the heck happens. All right, everybody, for my next trick, I am going to be making Japanese souffle pancakes. So here are the ingredients that we are going to be needing to create this. We are going to need some all-purpose flour. Look at my arm, it looks crazy. <laughs> we are going to need some sugar, some baking powder, some vanilla extract, a little bit of butter, it does not say how much. Then we're gonna need two egg yolks and two egg whites. I just said yolks weird. So let's go ahead and get started. So the instructions on the video that I've watched said that we first need two egg yolks. So we're gonna put a bowl inside of this bowl and we're gonna crack this egg to the best of our ability. And we're gonna put the whites in here for later. Ooh, he looks really oh god <laughs> one egg yolk take our second egg crack him no better and oh god open it very dumbly this is how they do it on all the cooking shows right you just kind of toss around the yolk into your <laughs> really mangled shell all right there's our second yolk so it said to mix these well so we're gonna mix our yolk. I'm no Julian Solmita, but I am trying my best. Surprise, not listed in the ingredients. We need a tablespoon of milk. Um, it was not listed on the ingredient list in the description of the video, but nonetheless, we shall add it. We need to mix this well, and then we need to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix this in. All right, so we are gonna do four and a half teaspoons of flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder. That does not seem, <laughs> that does not seem like enough. Okay, so I think it's a four and a half tablespoons of flour. I don't, <laughs> It's in another language, so I don't really know. But that's what we're gonna do. It said half a teaspoon of baking powder. Sip, sip, sip. Then we're gonna use our whisk, and she said to mix it evenly. 
This looks like too much flour. <laughs> oh no. I don't think hers look like this. Shit. <laughs> I think it was teaspoons. Okay, so this is definitely wrong, but we're just gonna add some more milk and see if that helps. You said, you said, it's on the flour. Well, guess what, idiot? It was enough flour. All right, I think the milk saved it. I don't suggest you go off recipe. I didn't even try to go off of recipe. It just looked like she had more powder than she did and she was lying about, whatever, okay. It's probably still too thick, but that seems a lot better than it was. We're going to beat our egg whites now in this very small bowl. <laughs> Okay, now that they're super frothy, we're gonna add one and two thirds tablespoons. That's almost one and then two thirds, so like almost two. Okay, so I guess it turns out I was supposed to add it a little at a time. Um, well, that's not it, so, oh. <laughs> All right, now that it looks like this, we're gonna add it to our mixture. We're adding the egg whites to our yolk mixture. This is so much egg white. There's no way this is right. <laughs> I'm following a tutorial in Japanese. <laughs> We're just gonna mix this until it is thoroughly combined. Okay guys, so my batter does not look like her batter and we're mostly screwed. Let's just turn our attention a little bit this way to this lovely pan. We have put it on a medium high and I will be spraying it with some olive oil. She actually folded in her eggs, which definitely seemed smarter. Um, and I, like the idiot that I am, did not do that. I whisked them in a hurry. I also whisked them in all at the same time, which was super stupid and 100% not how you do it. So, <laughs> Those don't look fluffy. All right, so in the video, she just keeps adding more on top. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Just keep adding more on top. <laughs> oh my God, this is so bad. And she folded in her eggs very slowly, which is obviously what I should have done, but I am a giant moron and didn't. We're just gonna let those sit for 12 minutes, I believe. Okay, so they are in fact separated. I've put them on a very low heat um, and then it said to add a, a spoon of water. Oh wow, that doesn't look right. <laughs> Oh, they are definitely combining. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Ah! oh my God, how freaking cute. Wow, oh my God, they're so cute. Okay, let's add, she said add another tablespoon of water and cook them a little longer. They aren't what they're supposed to be, but they do look cute. So here's my coffee currently. So, lots of energy. <laughs> Let's take them out. I'm ready. It's been about eight minutes. They smell kind of eggy. Here they are. Let's just like, let's just try a little bit, shall we? It doesn't, um, doesn't appear to be very. Oh, uh-uh, nope. <laughs> uh-uh, they taste like egg. They did not turn out at all the way uh, they should. So. Hmm. <laughs> Do you 
want to know what I thought of them? They taste like play pancakes. Oh, I thought it tasted like an omelet. Like they're super yeah. eggy. Yeah. They taste they just really like eggy. an omelet disguised as a pancake. <laughs> it's like um, an omelet went as a pancake for Halloween. Uh huh. Yeah, but I don't think I like it. Like out of the two, I think this was a hit and this was a flop. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 mm, okay. Yeah. That vodka is not subtle. Well, you, well, yeah. <laughs> I know. I got used to it though. So what would you rate these out of 10? I would give them a three. Wow. Yeah. A three for effort. <laughs> Yes. But that's it. I agree. I the agree. presentation was trash mm -hmm. and the taste was also trash. Yeah. So a it three was for ugly effort. on the inside and out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wasn't even cute. But I don't know, you keep eating them, so that's true. Well, it's kinda like the vodka, just the more you have, the more you get used to it. It's like the more I eat it, the more I forget what a pancake's supposed to taste like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I go into it thinking it's gonna taste one way, and then as I'm chewing it, I hate it. And then when I swallow it, I'm like, well. Mm. Well, that's very interesting. All right, well, thanks for coming to my tasting. For my last trick, um, since this went so well, I'm thinking, what about a Japanese jiggly cheesecake? <laughs> Can she do it? <laughs> All right, guys, here is my cheesecake. I went to OMG Squee. And so inside we have our jiggly cheesecake. It's not very jiggly, but it is very soft. But I am really worried it's actually going to just taste like egg. So <laughs> let's give it a try. All right, time for the taste test. Will it taste like egg? It doesn't taste like egg, it tastes like cheesecake. It tastes really good. <laughs> it's like so airy and soft and not dense at all like a normal cheesecake. It's really good. <laughs>